Hi everyone, I hope everyone's doing well. Today I will be reviewing a jacket I picked up a while back. Here is the British Royal Air Force MK41 Fast Jet Jacket. So this jacket is dated all the way back from 2003. It is an actual G-suit used by fighter pilots from the British Royal Air Force. So RAF stands for Royal Air Force, not Rev Simmons. I got this jacket from a user named Bulleting. Thank you so much for selling it to me. I know these are really hard to come by and they are pretty rare. I'm not too sure whether the British Royal Air Force is still using them. Given its age, it's probably outdated. From my knowledge, G-suits are controlled items. So I'm very fortunate to be able to get my hands on one of them. Now moving on, this iconic jacket has been a huge inspiration to many designers and is the blueprint to many renowned jackets in the fashion culture. For example, Raph Simmons, Dries Van Oten, BBS and many others. It has been an inspiration to their parachute bomber-like designs with the boxy crop fit, elongated sleeves, strap detailing as well as layering configuration. It's truly an iconic jacket. So the purpose of filming this video is to document this legendary piece right here to show you close-up shots of it and to share with you my thoughts on it. Here's a quick overview of the jacket. As you can see, it has a boxy crop fit with elongated sleeves. And here is the back view. Starting things off, the jacket came with a detachable life preserver. It has an actual inflatable life jacket on the inside of this zipper pouch, which could be weaved on. So how this weaving system works is that this thread on the underside of the life preserver will go into this slot around the neck area and back into the slot of the life preserver continuing around the jacket. And after weaving continuously, it will end off with this string here, which would go through the jacket as well as the life preserver, ending with a knot at the end. So this weaving process is repeated on the other side, as well as the back of the neck. The jacket is constructed from a 100% fire-resistant textile, which is surprisingly soft and breathable. When held up, you can see the amount of light that passes through. The material is not that thick, and it kind of transforms into this translucent mesh. In real life, the jacket has more of a military green colorway, but on camera, it looks more like an olive gray. So starting from the neck area, you have this very deep U-shaped neck, mainly to give space for the life preserver. Moving down, you have these two straps here with reflective pieces. The middle part is held down by button snaps which could be opened, converting it into a longer carrying strap. The jacket is secured by a two-way zipper closure and they are made with Riri zippers. So both zippers go in opposite directions which makes it really secure. On the bottom left of the jacket, you have two mini pouches. The base of the pouch is reinforced with this very soft and nice calf leather. It has aged really nicely. There are certain components and features on the jacket which I am unfamiliar with, but I spoke to one of my friends currently in the Air Force training to be a fighter pilot. He told me that these mini Velcro straps here are for tubes to run through, connecting to breathing apparatus as well as the aircraft itself. Here's the tag on the inside. It is a size number 3, which equates to about a size large. You can see very faintly over here, it is issued in March 2004. On the interior on both sides, there is a very discreet hidden pocket held down by a very thin velcro strap. Here is the back of the jacket. You can see lots of straps stitched across, giving the jacket its structure. At the bottom, you have this adjustment feature which allows you to tighten and adjust the waist. Now moving on to sizing, here's how the jacket fits on me. I picked up a size 3 which translates to a large. Here is how it looks on body. I'm 1.82 meters, about 77 kilograms as of now. The jacket is really cropped but to compensate for that, I usually tuck in my shirt to balance out the proportions. And the sleeves are slightly shorter. It is designed intentionally like that to accommodate wearing of gloves when the fighter pilots are flying the plane. But because of that, I'm not too sure whether the angle picks it up. It leaves a really awkward gap here which bugs me every now and then. When I'm sitting or moving about, the sleeves ride quite high up. I prefer it to be slightly longer covering my wrist. I do not really like it when the sleeves go up so high. So because of that, I might be selling this jacket. I'll include the measurements of the jacket below. I reckon that this jacket will fit anyone from 1.7 meters to 1.78 meters really well.
Now to sum up my thoughts on this jacket, first off, the story as well as the history behind it, the fact that it was actually used in flight operations in a fighter plane high up in the sky at tremendous speeds and altitudes is just mind-blowing. It is not only an aesthetic garment. Next off, the design as well as the fit. Unfortunately, as mentioned, the sleeve length is a bit short on me. But overall, the design as a whole, I really love this cropped and boxy look with the straps as well as the military components. It just looks so amazing. Now, I was actually thinking of keeping them as an art piece, but I don't have space at home and they'll probably be sitting around in my wardrobe unworn. So I'd rather sell them off, get something else that I would actually wear. So to anyone who is interested, shoot me a DM, we'll work something out. Now, I hope this video has given you the information you need on this British Royal Air Force MK41 Fast Jet Jacket. Thank you so much for watching. Have a nice day.